Hi, this video to explain about minimum description length principle, which is a concept in shortest expl explanation for the given data samples in the data set. We can apply the Bayesian theorem to solve the arguments of inductive bias using message description length principle. The MDL principle is motivated by most maximal a posterior hypothesis. Maximal a posterior hypothesis is derived from the hypothesis, hypothesis space will be available. In this hypothesis space, we will have n number of hypotheses, ca candidate hypothesis. From this candidate hypothesis, we will select maximum hypothesis that is the maximal a posterior hypothesis will be selected that will be calculated from the probability of data given hypothesis multiplied with probability of hypothesis this is the prior hypothesis and we can apply the logarithmic to this maximal po a posterior hypothesis when we are applying this logarithmic uh, we will get the uh, equation in this format right so here our aim is we want to reduce the, uh, the length of the uh, data we want to reduce the length of the data that is the minimize the description length okay minimum description length for that we what we want to do we have to transfer this maximal equation into minimal equation by here we are representing by minus log base to probability of data given h minus log base to probability of h so this is a maximization uh, equation this one is we are finding the minimum hypothesis minimum value hypothesis by applying the logarithmic with negative sign this equation interpreted yes that the short hypothesis minimal description length the short hypothesis means minimal description length are preferred for encoding the hypothesis and data set for example Consider a problem of designing a code to transmit the message which is drawn randomly where the probability of encountering the message i is denoted as probability of i. As assume the code that minimizes the expected number of bits that must be transmitted to the receiver. To minimize the expected code length, we should assign shorter codes. We should assign shorter codes to the actual messages that are maximal a posterior probable. The optimal code, that is optimal code in the sense that message with the minimum description, minimum length. The that optimal code minimizes the expected message length, which is assigning the logarithmic to the probability of message i logarithmic of probability of message i bits to encode the message i here we will consider the number of bits need to encode the message i using code c which is denoted as l c of i that is the length of description length of message i with respect to code c with respect to code c this equation can be denoted a maximal posterior hypothesis is need to minimize the description length of given data here denoted as minus logarithmic base to probability of data given h minus logarithmic to probability of h here the maximal a posterior hypothesis provides the result based upon the shannon coding theory yes given below so here the term minus logarithmic base to probability of h is the description length of hypothesis under the criteria 
optimal encoding for the hypothesis space H that can be denoted as the length of length of uh, uh, description length of hypothesis S under code C given hypothesis space equal to minus log 2 probability of H. Like that the second term minus log base 2 probability of D given H is the description length of training data D which is given by hypothesis H under the optimal encoding C optimal encoding C which is denoted as minus log base 2 probability of D given H. Here we can rewrite the equation using the terminologies which is uh, uh, defined here two terminologies so maximal a posterior hypothesis is minimal description length of hypothesis under the code c in the hypothesis space h is denoted as uh, lch of h plus the length of the uh, length of the data given h under code c which is minimizing the sum given by description length of the hypothesis and the description length of data here the minimum description length principle recommends to choose the hypothesis which is minimizing the sum of these two terminologies that is equal to a maximal posterior hypothesis which the intuition behind this concept is the MTP principle recommends a shortest method which should select a uh, I mean uh, transforming that message into shortest form and uh, for re-encoding the training data where we count both size of hypothesis and any additional cost of encoding the data given hypothesis so which can be useful in uh, dysentery problems with given training data so what to be chosen for representations in code in code 1 and code 2 for hypothesis and data respectively c1 for hypothesis c2 for data so here we for uh, code c1 choose some obvious encoding of decision trees in which the description length is growing with the number of nodes are growing in the tree and edges in the decision tree when the uh, nodes and edges are growing in the tree the message description length also keep on increasing here how shall we choose encoding uh, C2 of D given H. Assume we are taking a set of training data samples X1 to XM, M number of samples here which is assigned to capital X which is going to be uh, transmit between the trans transmitter and the receiver. So we need to transmit the classifications only the classification that means target labels okay so this is target label f of x1 is target label for x1 f of xm for target label for xm so no need to transmit entire data set to the receiver just we can transmit the target labels actual label output when transmitting this classification if if the if these classifications are identical to this predictions of hypothesis then no need to transmit that means if this uh, transmitting classifications output labels are identical then no need to transmit any information about this training samples that is the receiver can predict these values once it is received the hypothesis once it is it is received is received by the uh, receiver therefore the description length of the classification is zero because we are no need to, we no need to transmit the classifications because the classifications can be computed by the receiver if all are identical if few examples are misclassified 
by given hypothesis H, then for each mis each misclassification, we need to transmit a message that identifies which example is misclassified. So, in the second uh, point, what we have seen, we need we need to transmit. We, we no need to transmit, no need to transmit if all the classifications are perfectly classified. But if there is any misclassifications occurred, then we need to transmit that examples, that particular example to the receiver uh, to identify the misclassified data. So we need to uh, classify, we need to transmit k number of bits, k number of bits, k number of bits for that uh, misclassification data the hypothesis under message description length uh, we will use c1 and c2 code c1 and c2 that is minimizing the sum of this description length as per this equation as per this equation which is minimizing the description length the mdl uh, principle provides the way of trading off between the hypothesis complexity for number of errors committed by the hypothesis. So, it might select shorter hypothesis which makes few errors over longer hypothesis that perfectly classify the training data. Based on this perspective, apply MDL principle to choose the best size for decision tree to deal with overfitting so this is the way to transmit the message between the transmitter and the receiver by reducing the length of the given hypothesis and data set in training data thanks for watching